Hi students, coming to the new chapter, Data Abstraction. In this video, we will discuss about the introduction of data abstraction and what is abstract data types. Let us see that. So this data abstraction is a powerful concept in computer science. First, let us see the definition. What is the definition? Programmers need not to worry about how code is implemented. They have to just know about what it does. Programmers need not worry about how code is implemented and they just know about what it does. So, the subtraction just want to do the operations and it doesn't care about how the code is implemented and it just know about what it does. Next point, abstraction provides modularity. Modularity means what? What do you mean by modularity? Modularity means nothing but splitting a program into many models. The program can be splitted into many models. That is modularity. So, let us see one real-time example. Then you will understand about data abstraction. Suppose, if you want to take the money from the ATM machine, then what you will do? You go to the side of ATM machine and insert the card, give the PIN number and give the amount. Then you will get the money. How do we get money from ATM machine? And what happened inside the ATM machine? We doesn't care about the internal details. We just need money. So we doesn't care about the internal details of ATM machine. So here we know about what the ATM machine does. But we doesn't care about how ATM machine is works. So this is about the data abstraction. Then see the definition of abstract data type. The process of providing only essentials and hiding the details is known as abstraction we know that so it mentions what operations are to be performed but not how this operations is implemented okay to providing only essential details and hiding other details it shows only abstract details and hiding other details it is known as abstraction which means it does not specify how data will be organized in memory and what algorithms will be used for implementing the operations it doesn't care about that next point adt adt means what abstract data type abstract data type is a type for objects whose behavior is defined by set of values and set of operations so this abstract data type is composed by set of datas and set of operations. It is having some collection of datas, some collection of datas and set of operations on that data. Which means we can update, we can define and we can perform any operations that can be called as set of operations. And Classes are the representation of abstract data types. Here, classes is representation of abstract data types. So, this is about abstraction.